We go through this every year. You know perfectly well what holiday it is. Okay, okay. <laughs> Happy Halloween, everybody. <laughs> we'll be. Row 18, plot 20. Hey everybody, welcome back to Now It's Dark. It's, uh, I believe this should be day two of Halloween shenanigans here on the channel. Uh, keep keep the notification bell rung because there's going to be multiple days throughout this whole month where I have double uh, videos, two videos per day on, a, on more than half of the days of October. This video is about the movie Trinket Box, which is a 2023 film that I watched on Tubi. Um, I am a fan of, uh, haunted items and the whatnot, so I saw the title Trinket Box and I saw some of the imagery before I read what the synopsis is and I assumed it was one of those types of movies where there was a possession type Uh, possession haunted item type storyline going on, but it's not. This movie, <coughs> excuse me, is a newlywed interracial couple. Mike uh, and Ava move to a new home set on starting new beginnings, but a historical evil locked away for years is about to break free and wreak havoc on their relationship and their lives. Um, directors and writers... Patricia Keppa, Akori White, um, and it stars Augie Duke as Ava Wilson, and Akori White plays Mike Wilson. Sandra Ellis Lafferty plays Mrs. Davis, and um, she was probably my favorite character because she's the uh, the the least likable character. So I tend to gravitate toward those. People, I'm going to let you know right up front, I did not like this movie, and I think it had a lot to do with the subject matter. Um, I don't know in 2023 that we need to have movies made about uh, racial um, division, and I get that this is uh, taking place in Alabama, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say that there's probably... A lot less maybe I'm naive there's a lot less racial uh, stuff going on with interracial couples uh, I, I'm possibly naive and if you are living in Alabama and you would like to correct me that there's still a stigma attached with uh, interracial couples let me know but in general I don't know I again I live in New York so I have interracial um, family, so I, I've just always grown up with um, mix, so I, I don't know. So it was just really slow on top of that. The, the story uh, starts off with flashback, and then we kind of move into present day. Um, the couple, Ava and Mike, you know, as I stated, they move into this new home. Uh, the neighbor brings over a gift for Ava, and it's this uh, necklace. And she, Ava, re reluctantly finally wears it. Um, Mike automatically can tell that the neighbor woman, Mrs. Davis, is definitely racist. So he's like, don't accept gifts from... Her, you know, like, let's keep our distance, you know, we sh shouldn't have to deal with this kind of stuff. Uh, but Ava reluctantly wears it, and then, you know, Ava starts becoming a little more aggressive uh, and possessive of the necklace. Um, the trailer just does <laughs> the movie better than the movie does the movie. Um, the the bickering and the fighting between the couple uh, is really drawn out and it's very slow paced. It's again, it's another one of those horror movies that really is more of a, I, I would call it more of a like a psychological thriller or I don't know, a clickbait <laughs> type of a thing. Um, 
it, it, I do feel like this is one of the few times where I've watched a movie in its entirety and I felt like I wasted my time afterwards. A lot of times when I watch movies for reviews, I'll stick out to the end even if I'm not engaged in them. But this one really just left a bad taste in my mouth because even after the couple story is resolved, um, the, the movie goes on to <clears throat> expand on this racist neighbor and son story by introducing that a new couple has now moved into the home and and it's it's a racist or it's a uh, interracial couple again it's just reverse you know the the black and white is reversed this time and instead of the white wife it's a black wife and it's a white husband and so then we have the neighbor visit and uh, introduce herself to the white husband, and that's how we leave it. And that's probably a lot more spoilery than I normally like to do for movies, but this movie is just trash. It's garbage. I, I, I don't know if I'm missing some sort of, like, statement that the director and write, you know, the director-writers were trying to make. Um... And, you know, maybe then that's bad writing, I guess, because I don't know, like I, they, they, <clears throat> you know, the writers are white and black because the lead actor is also the writer director. And if he was trying to make like a statement, uh, I think that they didn't do a good job of that. But it's unfortunate that the movie was also called Trink Box because it makes it sound like it's going to be one of those haunted, possessed boxes or something that uh, possesses one of the people that open it or something. That's the kind of movie that I was hoping this was going to be. So I'm a little bitter. I'm a little bitter. Uh, not the way I wanted to start off the Halloween shenanigans on the channel. Um, I actually had this movie... Uh, slated for way later in the month, but uh, I moved it to the beginning just so we could get it over with, and uh, I hope that you'll stick through the whole month and support all your horror channels that you subscribe to, because this is like our Christmas this month. Uh, so make sure that you watch as many of the horror channels as you can, and hit the like and subscribe and all that good stuff. <laughs> Thank you.